local races are are actually official tonight. We got some official numbers from Vanderburg County. Now they were finishing those early in-person voting counting just today. Volunteer poll workers helping to certify and count tens of thousands of absentee and early ballots. 44 News reporter Tyler Druin joins us live with a look at the process. Well, good evening, Brian and Jessica. Those results were just released within the last hour from the Vandenberg County Board of Elections. And because of damaged ballots by both poll workers and voters, it took election officials days to count. It's day three of counting in Vanderburg County. I know we're going through quite a bit right now, especially since the election was two days ago and now it is Thursday. Ballot counting took workers hours to scan, process, and count accurately. Part of the delay is due to damaged ballots. Part of the uh, workers that we have here today are going to be teams that are going to be remaking ballots. Those are some of the ballots that were torn, smudged, or something that made it difficult for the machines to read. Some of those were uh, sliced with the letter opener that they used to open the envelopes. Vanderburg County election workers processed more than 55,000 mail in and early voting ballots between election day and Wednesday. This election season has been crazy. One of the craziest elections I have ever witnessed. 25 election workers were paired with someone of a different political affiliation while counting the more than 40,000 votes remaining. My message to the Vandenberg County poll workers would just stay positive. I'm sending nothing but positive vibes and positive thoughts their way. Election officials say everything has been peaceful with watchers during the counting process. So many people are debating, but at the same time they're fighting instead of everybody coming together to make this our better place for everybody of all color. Back here live tonight, Brian and Jessica, the results that were just released about an hour ago will become official by the Indiana State Board of Elections on Friday, November the 13th. For now, reporting live in downtown Evansville, Tyler Drew in 44 News. And as we 